By definition, an isothermal process is a process that has a constant temperature throughout the entire process. Again, we're going to start with a gas-filled cylinder with a frictionless piston. Now, this piston has a handle on it, so we can move the piston up or down. In order to keep the temperature of the gas inside a constant, we need to keep the cylinder in contact with something that can maintain constant temperature. What is this thing that maintains constant temperature called? It's a heat reservoir. A heat reservoir maintains constant temperature, so we will place this cylinder inside a heat reservoir. If I wish to compress the gas, I just have to push this piston down slowly enough so the gas in the cylinder can maintain thermal equilibrium with the heat reservoir. Therefore, the gas in the cylinder has constant temperature and the process is isothermal. If we plot this process on a PV diagram, which of those lines could be a match? PV equals to nRT. It's a closed system. The number of moles is a constant. The gas constant is a constant. And now the temperature is also a constant. So P times V equals to a constant. That means uh, P is uh, constant divided by the volume. That means the pressure is proportional to 1 over volume. Because the pressure is proportional to 1 over V, the smaller the volume, the higher the pressure. So the answer is B to A. This also tells us that uh, when the volume becomes 1 fourth, the pressure will become 4 times the size. When the volume becomes uh, halved, the pressure would double. So it's uh, B to A because uh, the gas is being compressed, the volume decreases, so it's B to A, not A to B. Of course, if you pull the piston up to allow the gas to expand, the PV diagram would be A to B. Now let's look at the first law. That is delta U equals to Q the heat added to the gas plus W the work done on the gas. The U here is the internal energy, which can include kinetic energy, chemical energy, etc. But for the processes we will be looking at in this course, the only kind of internal energy that will be changing is the kinetic energy. So for us, the delta U is the changing kinetic energy only. If you remember from the kinetic theory, we know that the average kinetic energy per molecule is proportional to the temperature. And the total kinetic energy is the average kinetic energy per molecule times the number of molecules. Because we'll be looking at the closed system, which means the number of moles or the number of molecules will be a constant. So the total kinetic energy will just be proportional to the average kinetic energy, which is proportional to the temperature. So if the temperature is a constant, as in isothermal processes, the delta U is zero because the kinetic energy does not change. Because kinetic energy only depends on the temperature. Therefore, the U only depends on the temperature. Constant temperature means constant internal energy. So the change in kinetic energy is zero and the change in internal energy is zero. Now let's look at the work done on the gas. And we talked about it in the last video that the work done on the gas would be the area of the PV diagram. Since the PV diagram is going to be curved like this, the area would be the area under the graph like that. And uh, the work done on the gas would be negative if the volume increases. So if it's expansion, the work done on the gas would be negative. The work done on the gas would be positive if the volume decreases. So if it's a compression, 
the volume decreases, the work done will be positive. In this course, I don't think you have to worry about finding this curvy part of the area because it requires integration. However, you should know that the work is the, this part of the area. Also, you may see problems that give you other pieces of information. So you can find the area or the work done on the gas using other pieces of information. Another thing about this isothermal curve AB is that since this is an isothermal curve with the temperature being a constant, that means every single state on this isothermal curve has the same temperature. So if I draw three isothermal curves, every single state on this curve has the same temperature, every single state on that curve has the same temperature, but the states on different isothermal curves will have different temperatures. So these are three isothermal curves with three temperatures, T1, T2, and T3. Which one has the highest temperature? Which one has the lowest temperature? Because PV equals to nRT, for a closed system, n is a constant. R, the gas constant, is also a constant. So P times V is proportional to the temperature. So if we want to compare the temperature, we can just compare P times V. So the curve with the highest P times V is the one with the highest temperature. So 3 is the one with the highest temperature. So T3 is higher than T2, higher than T1, because uh, T1 has the lowest P times V, T3 has the highest P times V.